pass on the autonomous <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> well, this weather got my attention. Oh, today. It's yeah. Gorgeous. Finally, yeah. right? It was a rough week weather-wise. long. I'm sure some folks are still dealing with the sleep deprivation mm -hmm. from Monday night, and now it just feels incredible outside, which is A, unusual for June. Yes. Super unusual for CMA. Usually we are sweating and or dancing with storm chances. So this is a welcome return to some quiet weather as we return CMA Fest after our three-year hiatus. How long it lasts, right, is the big question. For the weekend, things are going to remain relatively comfortable, though we are going to start to slowly see some changes work in. Hopkinsville, you look like a postcard. Absolutely beautiful. 80 degrees right now. Downtown, of course, everybody enjoying CMA Fest. Just fantastic for the crowds out there. Typically, we are absolutely sweltering. 83 degrees with that north breeze. Nice low humidity in place, so it's not that steamy, sticky feel. I had to show you the Power of Five just because there's nothing on it. But I haven't been able to do that any day this week. Bone dry, not a single raindrop expected to fall across our area. We're in the low 80s across Interstate 65. You compare that to this time yesterday, and it's cooler all across the board. We're going to stay on the cooler side of things, courtesy of last night's cold front, through the first part of the weekend. But then things change big time as we head into next week. So tonight, bone dry, clear, a little bit of patchy fog around. I would, some good news for tomorrow. I wish I could make tomorrow completely dry like today. I don't have that power, but it's looking less and less likely that rain will be widespread or very persistent. So dropped rain chances down to just 30%. It's possible Leland might be able to drop them even just a touch more tomorrow. The timing would be afternoon and you saw not much came through with this computer model. There's a complex of storms that's going to dance by Memphis and it's showers associated with that that may leak into our area. Not enough to ruin your day, but something to be prepared for. Saturday, not impossible that one or two showers might try to pop up, but it wouldn't be a washout. But then things start to change big time as we head into next week. Look at your seven day forecast. 80 tomorrow, fantastic. 84 Saturday, I love it. Ooh, but then 90 on Sunday, but then watch what happens next week. This is our first legitimate sweltering heat wave of the year. Tuesday looks to be the hottest day out of the next seven, although Wednesday is not far behind it. And both days, the heat index could get as high as 105 degrees. That is big time heat for this time of year, especially for our first real heat wave of the summer.